So this is very important for you to understand this part. Whenever you have a RH negative mother, this is where the problem comes in. And it comes in only with RH negative mother, okay, or mothers. And a RH positive baby. So for the very first pregnancy, so she's married to a RH positive father. They now have a RH positive baby and the mother is RH negative. The, the, the baby's antigen somehow go into the mother's blood system. The mother blood system is gonna say, hey, who are you? I don't know you. You are an invader, you are a foreign body. Then the mother, the first baby, no harm comes to the first baby because the body's not used to it yet. After the baby is delivered, the mother, because the baby antigen is in the mother's body, the mother de then develop antibody against that particular RH positive baby. So the mother had an antibody floating around in her body. If and when that mother become pregnant again with an RH positive baby, then the mother antibody is going to attack the baby's red blood cell, causing it to lice, burst. With red blood cell bursting, um, lack iron, lack oxygen, the baby can die. So a lot of times you see women having miscarriages and they don't even know why. So a couple of things. Most sometimes they will give the woman um, Rogam, which is given IV or intramuscularly. But let me tell you something first. That what they will do, if the woman has to do any test, a test that's called, like for example, they have to do any amniocentesis, like um, accessing the woman's abdomen to take out fluid, because of the risk that some of the baby blood may mix in the mother's system, they have to give the mother Rogam afterwards. And at the delivery, they must get it within 72 hours. So they can get it earlier than 72 hours, but they must get it within 72 hours after um, delivery. There's a test, as I mentioned, and the test is called the Coombs test. What the Coombs test is, they're going to test the mother blood and they're going to check did she make the antibody? What the Rogam does, the Rogam prevents the mother body from, from making these antibodies. But if the body already make it, the Rogam won't work. The Rogam will not work. So they will give the Coombs test, and listen to me carefully. A positive Coombs test means that the antibodies are positive which is not good, you don't want that. A negative Coom test means that the antibodies are not present. Yes, you want that. So don't take negative as negative is bad and positive is good. It's actually the other way around. You want a negative Coom test. So the Coom test is negative, the mother can get the Rogam because the Rogam prevents the mother from developing the antibody. They get it early up to 28 weeks. 20, as early as 28 weeks, not 24. Early up to 28 weeks. So let me start again, because I'm going to ask you guys, why do you guys to explain it to me? Only a RH negative mother with an RH positive baby. If the baby is RH negative, no problem. Because remember, when you're transfusing blood, you transfuse same blood typing. So no problem. But these are not the same blood typing. This baby is positive, this mother is negative. So if you have a RH negative mother and a RH positive baby, the first pregnancy normally no um, effect on the fetus because now the body's just getting shot. This is a first pregnancy. So the mother, the, the body just said, hey, who are you? What are you doing here? You're invading the body. After delivery, the mother will make antibodies to the, towards, against the baby, the positive baby. So when she comes pregnant a second time, her antibody affects the baby red blood cell, attached to the baby red blood cell and actually causes it to burst, lice. Here's a couple of things. 
if a woman is RH negative and she have a miscarriage, she needs to get Rogan. All right? Miscarriages, and that's what happens a lot of times. Sometimes a woman don't even know that they have a miscarriage. So what happens is they, they don't know that they have a miscarriage. Their body builds up the uh, antibody against it, and so the baby's at risk moving forward. So if a woman have miscarriage, she should get Rogam. If they're going to have a hamnocentesis, they can, it can be given. It's recommended that RH immune God is given at 28 weeks to decrease, uh, to decrease the possibility of any, um, any kind of uterine you know, fusion of blood. I don't want to say fusion, but the baby um, antigen mixed with the mother blood, the mother then build the antibody. The Rogam, which can be given IV or IM, prevents the antibody from forming, all right? If the antibody is already formed, the rogam is of no use because it's already formed. Now, I, I was asked this question, so what happened when, um, what happened if, if the mother already, body already formed the antibody and you can't give the rogam? What's gonna happen to the baby? So what they will do is they will, they have, Infusion, they can actually infuse blood into the baby while in utero. And then when viable, then they will have to um, have his mother deliver the baby. So I mentioned something about Kuntas. There is two types of Kuntas. There is an indirect Kuntas, and this is done on the mother's blood to measure the number of RH positive antibody. And then there's a direct home test. This is done on the infant's blood to detect the antibody coated RH positive red blood cells. So let me say this again, because I know that it may sound um, confusing that the mother is indirect and the baby is direct, but that's how it is. The mother is the one who you're giving the rogam to. You never give rogam to the baby. Never give rogam to the baby. The rogam is given to the mother. And the, when you're doing the coons test on the mother, you're doing what we call an indirect. And what you're looking for in the indirect coons test is a number of RH positive antibody, which are these. You want it to be negative. And if it is negative, okay, she did not develop the antibody. We can give her the rogam. The rogam prevents the body from formulating the antibody. All right?